hello Friday because I'm just so excited. It's Friday. We love it. Yeah, I've got the Friday feel. <laughs> yes, I love your outfit. You told oh. me you were like, I'm going to come in a little casual I thought it was today. casual Friday. It is. It I is. actually ran out of time. I was going to go <laughs> work out in between shows and I got hooked into the Prince um, Philip stuff from the Today Show. Yes. You know, 99 years old, that's a good life. Yeah, that's an amazing life. But it's and, just fascinating to me. And we were just talking, you've been watching The Crown, just the most recent episodes. I've watched the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really anxious for the next season to come out. Now, so. they stressed on the Today Show that that stuff is not factual. Right. I mean, it's we not, know it's fiction, but right. they said to, you know, double checks your facts. Entertainment. That apparently how Prince Phil Philip is portrayed in the movie is not accurate. Okay. Okay. Well, good mm -hmm. to know. Yes. Well, hey, Jerry, and there's a national day for everything, right? Yes. This one is an interesting day. It's National Unicorn Day. Yes. So we're going to do a little trivia in honor of the mythical creatures. <laughs> Are you ready to test your knowledge? I'm so scared. <laughs> I know nothing about unicorns. Well, we're going to learn. Okay, okay. Question number one. What country uses the unicorn for its national animal? Is it A, Greece, B, Scotland, or C, unicorns are fake and don't represent any countries. So we've had a trivia on this, I think, before. So I feel like I know the answer. Do you have a guess? I'm going to say C. I actually think it is B, Scotland. Really? Yes, because we had a trivia and I don't remember uh, the reason. But let's see, what's the answer? Did you right? know the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn? Hey. It's the unicorn, okay. I did not know Gotta that. Gotta celebrate those mythical creatures. Wow. Uh, next question, what's a group of unicorns called? A, a blessing, <laughs> B, a crash, or C, sparkle? I think, oh, well. No, you go, I, yeah. Oh, C. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess, too, because, um, you know, we like to have sparkle, unicorn mm -hmm. sparkle, right? Right. Let's see. Unicorns is called a blessing. Oh, a blessing. Oh. Okay. I definitely would not have guessed that no. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I think of when I think of a blessing, but okay. Okay. The explorer Marco Polo said he discovered real life unicorns and that they were surprisingly ugly. What? What animal had he really discovered? Oh. A, a narwhal. I never heard of that. Hopefully I said that right. Mm -hmm. B, a deer or C, rhino. I'm going to go rhino for this one. I'm going to go A just to be different. Okay. I like that. Let's see. A rhino, mm. all right. I was thinking that was probably right. Yeah, you know, they all kind of probably could have. I'm going to have to look up what a narwhal is, though. Yeah, I've heard of it before. I can't think yeah. right now, but. Okay. The other thing we really wanted to talk about, because we've just been really uh, enjoying this kind of friendly competition and raising awareness for an excellent cause. Uh, WHO Rock the Block. WHO 13 is teaming up with Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity for the organization's Rock the Block event this spring to help Central Iowa homeowners with some critical repairs, weatherization, and making homes accessible. So and everyone can go help make a cash donation, um, donate even materials to the ReStore, sign up to volunteer. Just go to the banner at the top of our website, WHO13.com. It is really easy. Jerry Ann, here are some fun facts about where, where the money will go and how it'll help. $50 provides 20 pounds of nails. $250 provides 10 gallons of paint, which I'm trying to wrap my head around how much that would paint. Right, um, a lot, a I lot, would say. Yeah. And an average rock the block repair costs $3,000. So kind of interesting. So you can make a lot of difference with even just $50. Yes, for right. sure. And uh, we're going to go out today and shoot a segment on location with someone with some volunteers siding a house and making some repairs. So I'm excited to see that. Maybe Hopefully, you'll learn how to do it. I know, I know. I'm excited. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. Oh yeah, it, the sun's already out. All right, good. Yeah, good. it's going to be beautiful the rest <laughs> of today. And I've been singing that song all morning about Justin Timberlake and having sunshine in my pocket and I'm just pulling it out. It looks like a great rest. Feeling. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a great rest of the day. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a look at this fun elementary school hallway celebration. <laughs> Special. I know. These are students at the Prairie Valley Elementary School in Edmond, Oklahoma. Students line the halls to clap and cheer for Miss Yannett after she shared the news of passing her test to become a U.S. citizen earlier this week. She's from Cuba and she brings smiles and positivity to the students each day as they walk into the building. 
So they wanted to return the love. This video was reshared on the Good News Movement Instagram page, which we love always seeing those for sure. Those lunch ladies make such a big impact on kids' lives. I yes. can still picture my lady Barb hooking me oh, up. You that's know? so funny that you remember her name oh, yeah. and everything. Barb, yeah, yes. how fun. I used mm -hmm. to, what was your favorite lunch item? Well, I like every kind of food. So, <laughs> although I do remember the mac and cheese being absolutely disgusting, just like glue. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I would walk to my grandma's house on those days. Oh, you got to mm -hmm. leave school and how weird is that? <laughs> and I walked like several blocks. <laughs> okay. Back in the day. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Well, there was a big reunion in Chicago this week. Take a look at this. The boy on the right, Jonathan Selner, was born in a Starbucks bathroom in suburban Chicago. 18 years ago, the man on the left, Griffin Barron, was 21 at the time, and he was working as the shift manager at the store. Jonathan's mom stopped into the store. She was in full-on labor and ended up giving birth in the bathroom three weeks early with Griffin's help. Griffin reached out to Jonathan on Facebook and asked for the reunion, and Jonathan happily accepted. Needless to say, it was a life-changing experience for both of them. Okay, that's interesting. I'm glad they could get back together. <laughs> you know what? Starbucks should spread the word that she drank a caffeinated cup of coffee and that put her into labor. <laughs> You, you know, because when you get to that point, <laughs> you will try anything yes, to yes. go into labor. <laughs> yes, I don't think you probably want it to happen right, right there. In, but yeah, no, not right in Starbucks with the very caffeine. Very memorable, yes. <laughs> well, okay, well, thank you so much, Sherry, and thanks for bringing the caffeine to the show today. Oh, you're <laughs> the welcome. sunshine.